morning guys we have filmed a little bit more at the bunker recently and it seems like you guys are enjoying getting to know a little bit more about what goes on there and our staff and so we're gonna try um filming some more here um, and sometimes without Matt which is what we're gonna do today so I just got here a little bit early before all of our staff gets here I'm gonna work out and then we're gonna get the day started and see what happens I was doing a Peloton treadmill boot camp. I love those things. They are so hard, but by the end of it, I'm dead and it feels like I got a super good workout. We brought our treadmill up here to the bunker at the beginning of December because we were supposed to have a Peloton treadmill delivered to our house and it didn't show up and we've been waiting since. It keeps getting delayed. It's supposed to be here on Monday. So we'll see if it actually shows up this time, hopefully so, so that I can do these at home and not have to come up here to the bunker before work and before everybody gets here. But until then, this works fine. <gasps> is that a new tire? How exciting is a new tire? Oh my God, there's six new tires. What size are these? These like 31s? Hopefully there's something big and beefy like 33s. BF Goodrich, what a mud terrain KM3s. Oh, the KM3s, those are good. What are they though? 39 by 13.5? Now that's just silly. Come on, we can't, we can't put 39s on anything. Let me go see what it looks like next to Earl. Dang, that's legit. I thought about just moving the tires to the truck and I was like, the truck drives. That's using your noggin, so I just drove over here. Dang, this looks like whistling diesel right now. These are 35s. This 39s look so much better. Look at that, look at that. Okay, the problem here is those are not actually for Earl. As good as it looks. Thoughts, what do you think, yeah? Do you like those or no? Like, would you put those on your truck? He doesn't, he doesn't really talk much. Yo, oh, you're so cute. These are not for Earl, even though Earl does look really good as a dually. God, it looks awesome. These are for my other dually. My first gen Cuda dually. That's gonna be cool. Yeah, we got 39 inch tires to go on the old 4x4 dually first gen Cummins powered Plymouth Cuda. That's a mouthful. Maybe we'll just call it the, the Bear Cummins. I like it, I like it a lot. All right, I gotta load all these tires up though in my truck, take them up to the shop. Dang Earl, looking good buddy. Those things are heavy, like real heavy. Real, real heavy. And there's six of them. Like normally there's four and they're kind of heavy. 39s are heavy. And there's six of them. Hey Steven, we're vlogging today. Hi, wonderful. These windows still like amaze me. So we put this vinyl stuff on the windows so that people couldn't see into Steven's office. And you can't see any of the de design from the inside. But on the outside, it looks like this. Is it helpful? Uh, so far so good. I mean, it's not as helpful as the outside windows there. It has them on those windows over there and that like blocks a lot of light from coming in. Those windows are already tinted though. So the tint plus that made it where it's like impossible for people to see in. Yeah. The Link Active stuff is taking over a good portion of our fulfillment area. And so we have had to move all of the boutique stuff to upstairs which we didn't anticipate like having to use this space this soon. So that's a little scary, but we'll see. So we had to move all of these bins up and now we're just trying to like reorganize and rename and make space for all of the fun, pretty things on the boutique. The boutique has definitely been backburnered a little bit lately because this right here is what I've been spending pretty much all my time on. This is going to be our Link Active spring line and I'm super, super, super excited about it. We've got new short styles, new legging styles, new prints, new tank tops. We also have the men's shorts that are lined coming back in March and we have them in different lengths, which I'll ask for 
And then we also have some really fun details coming to them that I think y'all are gonna be super, super pumped about. That man is awesome. Old man, cool hat, old truck. It's a cool truck. And it's, it's no Barracuda, but whatever. Shh, 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 don't talk, listen. Okay, now imagine that but in a Barracuda and with no mufflers. Like you'll be hearing that turbo go wee! Oh, we put a, probably put a bigger turbo on there too. Like, when I say probably like 100%, we're gonna put a bigger turbo on it. It's gonna be spooling to the moon. It's gonna sound so good. Also, now that I say that, Barracuda, someone in the last video where we showed that and I was calling it the Barracuda said that actually that's not a Barracuda, Matt. They said that the, through 1969, Plymouth Barracudas were called Barracudas. But after that, the 70 through 74s, which is the last year they made them, they weren't called Barracudas anymore. They were only called Cudas. And I knew it said that on the back of the car, but are they actually called that? Like, I haven't even looked at my title. Does it actually just say Cuda on it? Have I been calling it the wrong thing the whole time? I've always just called them Barracudas. I mean, my whole life, I've seen a 72 and called it a Barracuda, but maybe it's just a Cuda. I don't know. What do you guys know? What do y'all know? I gotta go to the bunker for a little while to do some stuff. And then we'll go drop off these tires and check out my Cuda. All right guys, we're in the warehouse. Steven got is mayor. vlogging, y'all. I know, I'm a natural, right? We just wanted to show y'all some cool stuff. We have the the tires. Oh, I didn't know we were doing this. Yeah, like, check that. Uh, definitely not copying Cletus at all. We got 200, 201 actually that we're gonna mail out. First 201 of the tattoo tee, which let's go check that out. We're super excited. It's always really fun when Matt gets excited about his shirt. And it's really fun seeing how y'all guys react to Matt's excitement. We've been printing them now for at least two days. All right, so Mary, here's the question. Have you been looking at the comments on the video? It seems like everyone's really wanting to see Meredith do a burnout. Is that what y'all guys are wanting? Uh, <laughs> That's really funny, guys. <laughs> it's gonna happen, guys. Here's one other thing. So Meredith showed y'all my balcony right there with the vinyl decal in the window. There's something else really cool that I'm excited about coming maybe in the next week. We're gonna have something special. I'll keep it a secret and you guys will see. At the bunker now, I guess you guys have been here at the bunker. Mayor was vlogging today and Steven was vlogging. All right. I actually don't know. Just, uh, keep going or don't do that anymore. Never vlog again? <laughs> look, look, she got a little camera and everything. Matt gave me my very own camera. Mm -hmm. I trusted no, you. Still it is mine. It's, it's <laughs> actually one that I bought, didn't like, and so I never use it. Is this the one that you can't hear? Unless it's when you turn the camera out. away, it's a directional microphone, and that's terrible for vlog. It's made specifically for vlogging. Why didn't you tell me about this morning? That's the one that you took to the other state that time. You, this is the only one you ever use. I didn't know it was the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's made for vlogging, and it's the worst at vlogging. Like all vloggers turn the camera around like this, but when you do it with that camera, as you guys probably saw in this episode, it gets really quiet. Also, your voice is kind of quiet anyway. I actually don't know what the number is, Stephen. Where, where are we at on these shirts? Starts with a four. Okay. 400. <laughs> it's more than that. Remember how you haters were saying I wouldn't sell very many? Uh, yeah, we were wrong. <laughs> uh, we were definitely wrong. So I excited. knew it, I knew it. So 4,000 what? Uh, it's like 42. 4,200? Yeah. Okay, so we haven't given away my Raptor yet. When do you have to give away the Raptor? I don't have to give it away. Oh, <laughs> 5,000. Okay. Whistling Diesel said 4,000 and I said no, but I would do it if we got to 5,000. You guys probably noticed that the Raptor wasn't in the garage today. That's not because I've shipped it to Whistling Diesel. Uh, it just wasn't in the garage. <laughs> Meredith, here's the question. I heard that Steven's talking to you about doing a burnout. Like, what if the next goal after give a truck away, which giving a truck away is a big deal. What if you maybe just did like a burnout? That's not that big of a deal. I did it for no shirts sold the other day. I'm not doing a burnout. Have you ever done a burnout? Or a donut? No, I don't Squeaked a tire? How. Have you ever like accelerated hard enough to make it go Err! On an accident when it was like wet outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it would be the funniest thing ever to see I you. I really don't even know how I would do it. It's actually super easy. You put your foot on the brake and your foot on the gas and just jam them both down. <laughs> There's no brakes in the back, 
So like, you can't not, it'll just, it'll just burn out. I'm not making your parking lot even worse than it already is. You can't make it worse. This is all going to a good cause. Me souping up the El Camino. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we make it go to another good cause? I want a supercharger. <laughs> or turbos. Or two turbos. If we sold 6,000, would you do a burnout in the... I mean, does it, like, you don't have to blow the tires, although that would be awesome. Six. Is there some number that you would do it for? I don't know. No? 6,500. No. You wouldn't do it? We gotta say a reasonable number. 6,500 is insane. 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, buddy. <laughs> Wait, okay, but will you pop the tires if we do 10? Probably not. <laughs> Come <too> on. <laughs> Come on. I'll get you a race suit. A pink one. <laughs> I don't want a pink race suit. So you're telling me if, if 10,000 of those shirts sell, just that's like 6,000 more. <laughs> So probably not gonna happen. You would do a burnout. We'll just run this shirt for like 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Two years from now, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna, Steven, take all the other shirts off the site. This is the only one we have. So 10,000, you will do a burnout. Fine. Enough to make white smoke pour out. I don't know. Just say yes. <laughs> sure. Yes! I sure, I don't know. Sure. <laughs> totally sure, but I don't know. All right, you heard it here first. Uh, if we get to five, Whistling Diesel gets the Raptor. If we get to 10, Meredith will do a burnout. And then I think we're ending this t-shirt run because that's gonna, I don't know if we're gonna get to 10. <laughs> I wanna see it, that'll be great. Steven's just trying to explain something to me and it made no sense. So I thought, I'm gonna turn the camera on and film this. We're up here on his balcony right now. And as you guys know, he's wanting to decorate this place as we all are, we want it to be beautiful and colorful. And it is getting that way over there. Steven's talking about this wall right here and in particular, the stairs right there. And how you can see the stairs right there, and then the inside wall of the stairs, you can see a little bit of it, uh, but there's, of course, a big white wall behind that as well. I want something where it's like one scene, where when you look from back here, you see um, like a city. And then whenever you, in the sky, and then you walk to the other side of the stairs, and all of a sudden the city's like destroyed, or the city's like super old, or something where it's the and same it, scene. Just, it's contrasting. Different. Maybe one is just the daytime scene and one's the same scene but nighttime. Like, it doesn't yeah. have to be like a dark scene like Destroyed City. <laughs> but uh, if anyone understands what I mean by that. <laughs> He's uh, also saying like one is like you could see like a snake and then the next one is like a snake skeleton, like an x-ray version, an x-ray view of the snake um, going all up the stairs. Just something where it's like the same, it's similar, but contrasting differently. Let us know. Let us Nailed know. it. <laughs> Comment below if you have any idea what we're talking about. We aren't like very artistic minded, especially me. But like, I like, I like, I mean, I, when I see something, I know I like it. I just can't ever imagine it in my head. All these blank walls, they give a lot of people a lot of ideas. But for me, I'm just like, it'd be cool if that blank wall was not a blank wall. That's all I got. Back of the door, like, we could paint something on that. Or put, put vinyl on there, just like this wall here. We could. We could decorate it, make it awesome. I mean, even just getting these up here made it look a lot cooler. We do need to get to decorating though. Even like the kitchen downstairs, it's just all plain walls. And it looks so good when it's done. It's really hard to see what that says. I don't think this says anything. Oh, I thought it was trying it, to, it may it's be, got an end there. Maybe it used to say bunker. It looks like it says <laughs> bonker. B, O, N, I don't know. I, don't know I think it says bonsai. Care. It says bonsai for sure. <laughs> Jonathan's name's probably hidden in here. Like <laughs> oh, big news! This episode is sponsored by Simply Safe, but also we have Simply Safe installed here at the bunker. Simply Safe is incredibly reliable and effective home security. You can order it; it shows up at your door, and you can install it by yourself to keep your home safe or your small business like this. This is our base station here, and we were extra interested in getting Simply Safe at the bunker because someone broke a window in our storefront. We fixed it. But since then, we install the glass break sensor right there. Break a window now, suck us. All of our doors and windows have these little sensors here, so if they are open, they will trigger the alarm. But if instead they break the windows, we have glass break sensors. And if somehow they get in without the glass break sensors going off, we also have motion detectors in the building. This is an extra siren, and you can see it has double-sided tape or tiny little holes for screws. Very easy to install all by yourself with simple tools or double-sided tape, and no tools. Little camera up here. We have everything off right now because it's the middle of the day and there's 35 people in this building and obviously you don't set your alarm then because 
it'd be going off nonstop. We've tested everything to make sure it works. It's super easy to test. And then when we leave today, at the end of the day, we will close all the doors, arm the system, and be out of here, and simply say if we'll protect our building. Any doors that are to open, any windows that are to break, any people that walk through, set off the motion detectors. It will alert Simply Safe, who will alert the authorities that there is something going on that needs attention at Bunker Branding. We are safe at last. Go to simplysafe.com slash off the ranch to learn more. That is linked in the description below. Thank you, Simply Safe, for sponsoring this episode and keeping the bunker safe. All right, I'm heading to Muscle Rod Shop, but I came by my shop on the way there. We need a cool name like Muscle Rod Shop, Demolition Shop. And in the last video, this little bat gauge was being funky, and it's because we just had it hooked up wrong, but we got it. We got it fixed now. Check that out, everything turns on. They all cycle at the same time. Super cool. You can turn on uh, lights and light them all up. So we got this thing working now. Just like in your car, you hit a button and everything just flips around. We got that totally fixed now. It was our error and now it's good. You can't, this, this key is silly. You have to push a button here and do this to get that key to come out. It's silly. Cars don't really have that anymore. A lot of cars didn't have keys anymore, but a lot of cars, you just turn it and pull the key out. These all have locks and it's on the other side. The Corvette, my C4 has a button, but it's, you can do it with one hand. So it's by the key. You push it with your thumb and turn it and pull it out. Ford's dumb, which is probably why they don't do that anymore. Hey, watch this, look what I can do. Hold on, I didn't push it hard enough. <laughs> we have a horn. It's probably totally gonna pass inspection now. Maybe not yet. Check it out, I'm in the Raptor now. I told you it's not gone. Uh, somebody needed to borrow Earl because we're picking up some stuff for a Demolition Ranch video. It's gonna be pretty cool. So they needed the diesel. The Raptor, not great at carrying heavy loads. Earl is the champ and things like that. All right, I am heading to Muscle Rod Shop right now. I'll give you a little sneak peek on what's been happening with the Cuda. But then I'll also, I just want to put these tires under that thing and see what they look like. Got the tires in the building. I don't know why I'm walking around. Look at them. I'm going to show you my truck frame. I'm not going to show you everything he's done to it yet. He may have hacked it in half. There's the truck frame right there. But look at this beautiful 12 valve. It's going to be so good. We're going to actually jack the back of the Cuda up. Oh, these guys probably know. Hey, someone in the last video said that the 70 through 74s were just called Cudas and not Barracudas. Is that... 71, 2, well, 3 and 4 had Cudas, but Cudas were the performance version of the Barracuda. Okay. I think Cudas started in 1970, when they changed the body style. Because yeah, but what does this one say on the title? I mean, I have it, it says Barracuda, okay. But Akuda, I didn't know if I was calling it the wrong thing, because some no, of the no, commenters are saying. Cuda is a Barracuda, it's just. Here. That's what I always thought, but then a commenter made me second guess it. Right, here's the deal. You call it whatever you want. Yeah, this is mine. You're I'm gonna call it the Bear Cummins, and I don't care what you guys say about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going up so we can stick one of these tires or, or two of these tires underneath it. Yeah, they, they won't fit in that wheel well. <laughs> Look at that. Dang, it's gonna be gnarly. You don't really realize how high it's gonna be until you start putting a 39 inch tire underneath it. There we go. All right, and we're doing a dually, so. Yep, definitely gonna have to tub that a little bit. <laughs> Brandon is a 6'3 guy. Dude, this um, is like five and a half feet tall right there. It's gotta go. And it has to go up. Yeah, I think your, your deck lid will sit about six foot. Yeah, that's gonna be wild. Jeez. Dude, what the heck are we doing? <laughs> this wheel well is way too small for this tire. So we're probably gonna extend the wheel well out a little bit. Yeah, make that make that hole wider. <laughs> Dude, can you just imagine a freaking dually burnout? <laughs> <laughs> Black smoke poured out and it's burning out. 39s. We're gonna have to ramp up this power and be able to do a burnout with those. Jeez! Oh, this is gonna be the coolest thing I've ever done. It has to go even higher than this, dude. Dude! This is better than I ever imagined. So, oh, we got a fender too. Look at this. Can I just say that I think I brought this to the right shop? Oh my god. Dude, jump in it. Take it for a spin. It's gonna be interesting getting in in a car that is this high. Yeah, cause like you can't just jump up cause it's it's narrow. I think that you're gonna have to have a step here. Gotta have a step. And then duck and crawl in. Yeah, it's <laughs> gonna, be, gonna be crazy. Get in the back seat's gonna be hard. <laughs> now remember we didn't really secure this very well. <laughs> this is not the actual height it's gonna be at. It's gonna actually have to be a little bit higher. So three foot is right here, that's the bottom. 
Jeez. That's gonna be really cool. Like that. That's gonna be real cool. So now that you can see this engine sitting here on the frame, do you see anything that worries you about sticking this thing in a Barracuda? This is the center of our wheel well. Right. Those tiny little weird wheels this, and yeah, tires. Little, tiny little baby tires. So what are tires over there like maybe this tall <laughs> compared to that? So the problem is, is that where the back of the block sits, as opposed to where the center of the wheel well is, the, the motor sits too far forward. So here's our firewall line. That's where the Barracuda's firewall will be? Yeah, and here is where the firewall would sit Was. On, the yeah, on the truck. Right? Yep. We want the motor to go back that far. So you're going to pull the motor back? Yeah. And it's going to go about eight inches Which back. is good. That'll give us more room at the front yep. for all our accessories and fans and all that stuff. Because you got a giant radiator and then the intercooler. Intercooler. But that's a lot to fit in the front. Yeah, of a tiny car. Of a tiny car. Like my truck, the, the second gen Dodge, those intercoolers are like this tall, but they're like that wide. Yep. So trying to fit all that in here is, is we're, uh, we're not going to use a factory one. Yeah. We gotta get, get a custom one. Yeah. Doable though, right? Oh, for sure. You're not worried? No, I don't at all. You're, you're not worried there's gonna be some speed bump that ruins this. Those, the speed bump's the best part. That's right. <laughs> Those are fun to go over. Okay, one, one more last view. Look at this thing. Let me go over to the other side where you can see that front fender. <sighs> Freaking dually. This was not in my plan. He was just asking where I, like, why I thought of this. I just had the idea, but like I never, I didn't think about doing a dually. I just ended up buying a dually and everybody's like, yup. We're making this a dually. Jeez, look at that thing. Okay, hey, get back to work, come on. Come on, get on this, get on this thing. <laughs> What's crazy is it looks like I'm on the ground because it's like it's so much further below it, but I'm like two feet off the ground right here. This is wild, wild. I just want that Corvette. It's a convertible to hard top, wide bodied. Looks so good. All right, leaving Muscle Rod shop. That car is gonna be wild. And the reason I knew this was the right spot when I first came is because that second gen dually was sitting in the parking lot. That's Brandon's truck. The guy who's doing all the sheet metal work on that car truck, that's his. He is a Dodge dually driver and he loves Cummins. And they're a pretty Mopar specific shop. You know, they have Camaros and Corvettes and but it's like 75% of what they do is all Chargers and Challengers and Barracudas. And I found the guy who does all the Mopar stuff and drives a Cummins and told him, I want to put a Cummins. He was over the moon. So anyway, it's going to be great. Can't wait to see the progress on that thing coming along well. And I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Off the Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare.